how to use a round brush to curl hair. Hi, welcome to Video Jug. I'm Richard Ashforth from Seiko and I'm going to show you how to use a round brush and get a little bit of movement into your hair. As always, um, preparation starts by combing the hair through once you've shampooed. Get rid of all those tangles and knots in there. And then we're going to apply some product to protect the hair. So I'm using a blow drying cream that has some volumizing properties to it. And I'm going to work that first through the mid leads and ends. And then just on the surface, not going too close to the roots. We don't really want to leave a deposit of product on the roots. That will dry the scalp out and uh, result in a flaky scalp. Once the product's in, we're going to use a comb, evenly distribute all that product through the hair. And then, just to save a little bit of time, before I go in with a brush, what I'm going to do is rough dry the hair a little and just lose all the excess moisture from the hair. That's going to save us about 15, 20 minutes drying time. Okay, so now we've eliminated the excess moisture. First job is to find the parting. And we're going to work with a little side parting here on Carly's hair. And then I'm ready to start with the sectioning. So I'm going to start on the underneath. You can take quite loose sections. I'm just using my fingers to do this. Try and ensure that the hair that you're tying away is tied away nice and tightly and doesn't interfere with the hair that you're trying to dry. Get quite messy if you catch pieces of hair that you don't actually want to blow dry. Okay, so the principle of using a round brush is obviously we're going to wrap the hair or allow the hair to wrap around the brush and we're going to dry it in that position. Once it's dry we're going to allow it to cool down as well in that position because obviously hair sets in whatever shape it's in once it's cooled down rather than the shape it's in when, when it's hot. and allowing the hair to wrap around the brush and then winding the brush in towards the root area. And then once I feel the hairs nice and dry, I'm just going to use some cold air from my hair dryer. And most hair dryers these days have this cold button on there that you can use. And setting the hair on the brush. And once the hair has cooled down, you'll see that the hair is left in a nice, large wave. I'm going to repeat that process all the way through the head, taking horizontal sections. And I'll come back to you at the front when we get towards the fringe area. So there's still a lot of scope within this to create volume. For example, to achieve a lot of lift on the hair, if you pull the hair straight up and dry from underneath, perhaps around the crown area, you're going to get a little more fullness and a little more volume from those areas. And by the same token, by pulling the hair down and drying down the hair, you're going to achieve a flatter result and just the movement's just going to be restricted to the ends. And also the way that you use the brush and the direction that you use the brush in controls the way that the hair moves too. So by rolling the hair into the face, obviously the hair is going to move towards the face and vice versa. So, there's the finished result. Soft, sexy, voluminous hair, very glamorous, not necessarily for everyday wear, but certainly nice on a special occasion. So just to recap, make sure the hair's combed through well before you start. 
apply the products and comb that through too so that's nice and evenly distributed. Work with horizontal sections, tie the hair away as you work so you don't get confused between the hair that you're trying to dry and the hair that you're going to move on to. Let the hair work into the brush itself, it will naturally want to wrap itself around the brush. Allow it to do that, dry the hair in that shape and then cool it in that shape because it's as the hair cools down that's the, the shape it's going to stay in as it sets. And there we have it.